Oh, oh God, exactly. Zach! All right. Do you mind? You gonna give me SARS or something? Hey, you gave this to me, all right? So you can... What? I never had a cold. What are you talking about? The house, all right? I, it's got full of pollen or something. I don't know. I just... Well, you gotta clean the place out. And do you, <laughs> would you mind not putting all your appliances on the back porch? You're gonna devalue our entire neighborhood with that attitude. Oh, gee, okay? I'm so sorry. I gotta clean the place out. I have to live there for the rest of my life, okay? Look, it's a good investment, Zach. I could not lie to your parents. It's They're a good crack people. house, Pete. They're good people. You screwed me over. I you said you weren't gonna win. I couldn't lie to your parents. Shake it was a good your booty. Your You're such an oh, honest shake, guy. Shake, You're gonna thank me for this, Zach. Shake, 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 shake your booty. Wait. Hello, Brenda. Hello. It's fundraiser time at the school. Oh, for for Caitlin. Oh. For, well, they're buying a new um, uh, computer for the library. Oh, that's nice. Well, yeah. Sheila Cops is right over there. Maybe you can ask what? her for a contribution. <gasps> oh, my she has gosh. some Allegra or something. She looks good. She must be on hard times if she's riding this thing. <gasps> she needs a brooch. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, <laughs> just dwelling on this picture. A friend of mine uh, set me up on a date, and I, I don't, do not ask the woman out. It's been a while. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a little rusty. So, uh, did you get there a video game or something? I'm writing a book. Ah, oh yeah, well, I guess you gotta find something to do now, huh? <laughs> Well, I have to finish it in six weeks, which is why I can't even talk to you. I'm very sorry. Oh. I'd like to be friendly, but I have no time. Totally understand. No time. They are, they are the bike of bikes, as far as I'm concerned, right? And I had one a long time ago, sold it. I come, I'm walking home, and this guy's got an R65 on his lawn. That's great. It's a piece of junk. Look yeah. Look out, look out, look out, look out, look out, look out, look out. There's only 500 bucks, so I bought it. Hey, guys, don't look now, all right? Don't make an arse yourself, but that's Sheila Cops over there. You know Sheila Cops? Yeah. You see her? Yeah, I so what? Isn't she something? I've been following her since high school. Been reading about her, watching her. She's incredible. Incredible woman. I mean, if I wasn't married, you know, I mean, she's something else. Look at her. She's she's steel wrapped in silk, <laughs> hard and feminine at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Incredible. You know, I never would have. I never would have thought that would have been your type. No. What would you know, Doctor Man Love? Huh? What would you know about it? Not much. Right. I'm gonna go talk to her. I wanna talk to her. Oh no. I had to get Jesse to help me set the VCR. I'm such a VCR moron because Shannon was uh, doing the news this morning. I saw it. You saw it? She was on the weather. 8.45 this morning. You're she kidding. was in the weather. It didn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. She's telling us what the temperature is. She's not a weather girl. Well, she's friends with Ann or not. Well, I'm going I'm going to hit her up in a second now that she's got the big bucks. Yeah, but well. first, you people, captive audience, dance a thon at the school to raise money for All the right. library. I'm in. For Caitlin's Liz, school. Liz, don't, don't, jump, oh, don't jump to it just yet. Why? What? Don't. These money gets wasted in charities, a lot of you. Have seen the what budget? Do you mean? There's oh, tough new regulations out there because the government. money gets wasted. Yeah. No, oh, charities. Charities, Brenda, Don't listen. listen to him when it comes to money. Look. Oh, yeah, it's only I, my business. Listen I to this I can't kid. personally give you any money because oh, I have to spend mine on surprise. allergy medicine. I'm but sure Pete, 50 bucks. I'm sure, would be happy to donate on my behalf. You only carry a loony me. with you anyway. This is for the kids, people. Nail me to a cross, for Christ's sake. Show me the nails. Sheila Cops, eh? She's written a book. It's kind of really going to be like all about that, you know, politics and stuff, like a John LeCarrie novel. 
Okay. That's, it's like a James Bond novel, only there's no sex or violence, so it's really boring. Hey. It's like dry as toast, I bet. Show some respect, all right? We're sitting across from one of the most important political figures this country's ever seen, okay? She's a champion of the needy. She's a champion of the poor, of the less fortunate, of the environment, and she's been maintaining the dignity of the Liberal Party for a long time now. Maureen, middle name, Sheila Maureen Cops, right there. I've had a huge crush on you since about 1984. All through my troubled, wild youth, you helped me on many a lonely night. Jonathan McLaughlin, good evening. Hi, Jonathan. Nice to, uh, nice to meet you. Yeah. How did you know my middle name? Oh, I know lots about you. Really? Yeah. What are you stalking her? Na, 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 After the sixth goal, I turned it off. Why, why be tired? Why make myself tired for work the next morning yeah. to, to waste my time watching that, you know? Well, I mean, the Lightning played pretty good. They yeah. were uh, their quick team. Yeah, they wow. were fast, but we played awfully. It was, it was, it was so awful. To I watch. know. I mean, the Lightning might have played better than we played poorly, but I don't know. It, was, it sucked. It was it a did. bloodbath. It did. Bloody bloodbath. <laughs> you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. You don't seem fine. No, I'm okay. You're, tw you're twisting that paper I, I, I'm like okay, gonna... David. I'm okay. Thank you. I'm sorry. I, I, uh... I lost the legal battle for the visitation right of my son. Today. That's what I lost. I was never much for learning in high school, right? I was a bit of a bad arse. And then my grade 11 social science teacher, right? She wants me to go and do a project in the House of Commons and I'm all like, give me a break. This is gonna be the most boring thing in the world until I seen you. And I seen you there and the passion and the way you spoke. And then I seen you on, on, on the cover of that magazine and the, the motorcycle and the, the leather and all that. And I, I was like, I had no idea politics could be so engorging. You know, I had no engorging? idea. Engorging? <laughs> I don't think that's the right word. I think you mean engrossing. Yeah. Engrossing. Engrossing. Engrossing, that's what I'm saying there. And then the, the Hustler magazine thing and all that. <laughs> that was oh, amazing. That, I sued them for that. Let's not go there. No, no, no. <laughs> I want to know about the book. <laughs> I don't know. Well. Yeah, that sounds like it's going to be fascinating. I mean, you get it. Getting some shots at Martin, huh? just take the big man down. <laughs> I got six weeks to do 20 years. Wow. Really, it's like unbelievable. So I gotta work really hard. That starts like way back at the Rat Pack in Mulrooney, huh? Starts right back with the Rat Pack. Wow. <laughs> starts right back with the first time I ever saw Pierre Trudeau. Oh. And I swooned. Oh, he must he have been was, magnificent. He was gorgeous. <laughs> gorgeous, yeah. Hey, hey, what, what is that? Put that away. You looking at some kind of nudie picture? No, 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 she's got a bikini on it. It's the girl Pete set me up with. See that? Yeah, I'm trying Whoa. to work up the guts to ask her out. Sorry about him. She is gorgeous. <laughs> I'm sorry about me, is there, but she you. Is gorgeous. Oh. Yeah, see. Is she your girlfriend? No, no, I, I haven't asked her out yet, but it's sort of an arranged date thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> kind of like a in your dreams date. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is what gets me. Is is there you are? You're, you're this mother of three. Yeah. You're there. You're this hardworking person. And this is probably the most important thing that's going to happen to you all year, which is the budget, and you don't know anything about it. Well, I don't have time. My dad, have... you're running around trying to get a two-bit computer for your kids in the library. Two... It's that going is to be sweet. brand new. That is sweet, but really, you need to pay attention. They to need to give us some education money. We have to take individual responsibility for this kind of thing, too, and so she's doing that, fun, a small that, fundraiser for her yeah. school. What are they doing? No tax cuts. Oh, big deal. We don't get a... $10 tax well, cut every year. They're just being very need, careful you, before You need tax thing. cuts. You need tax cuts. You well, need that like money we'll back. see a movie in. at the end of the we year? We need money in the education fund. That's no, we what need we money need. in cities, which we got. That was my, I wanted to see the, some the good coinage was, going the into the The point I was cities. making, Brenda, is once you put money into a big structure, like your school charity or a government, the money gets wasted, okay? Don't These guys she, waste money all the time. She was a champion for the arts. 
You can't <laughs> say that. She wasted money. Champion for the arts? Give me a break. She's got enough on her plate. She doesn't need you picking at her. You're just cheap because you don't want to give me a toonie for a computer for the library. I didn't even know that Charlie was my son until like eight months ago. I bump into my best friend from university, Ed, and his wife, Julia. A couple days later, Julia gives me a call saying she's got something to tell me. We sit and have a chat. She tells me that Charlie's my son. We had a little affair before they even got married. Okay. Okay, and Charlie was the result. So and she waits how long to tell you this? She waited eight, eight years, eight and a half years almost, okay? Wow. Yeah, tell me about wow. it. So I, it just spun my world around, and I, you know, I wanted to do the right thing. So I said, well, the truth is the truth. Everybody should know it. Mm -hmm. Ed got involved. It started getting messy. So he didn't know. He didn't know, and he wasn't very happy, as you can imagine. Yeah. And uh, I hired a lawyer, and we started going through the court procedures of like getting visitation rights to my son. Right. I mean, I thought it was the right thing to do. Sure. And uh, you know, part of that was for me to become a responsible parent and you know drugs and alcohol were kind of a little too much in my life so I went down to rehab under the court's direction and got cleaned up and you did yeah I've been sober ever since that's I'm trying great. to do the right thing that's great so that's so basically it in a nutshell that's great I mean it sounds like you had good intentions and you had you did the work you know you, you cleaned up so you know so why did you lose I don't understand well, it's what hard. Was his, what was his um, reasoning? Did he give you money? Mm, yeah, I mean, it's hard to uh, it's hard to win a court case when you show up an hour late. Oh no! Yeah, yeah. No, what happened? Well, let's just say uh, it kind of had to do with the woman I know named Star. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. I, I still want to know more about this book. I mean, you must have some juicy stories in there. Uh, well, back in the days, the Rat Pack and the Mulrooney and all the flags. <laughs> I still waiting for mine. I haven't got my flag yet. You didn't get your flag? I didn't get a flag. Oh my God, you have to join those 1.4 million Canadians that are still flying those ragged flags. <laughs> get your own flag. <laughs> exactly. Canadian Tire has a sale on, so. Hey, you know, I, you know, hope I'm not getting too personal here, but are you, uh, you married or something? You got to. I am. Oh, me, me too. Me, I'm not. You know, don't don't think yeah, I'm going to say without charity. You're not. Uh, you're not casting about for a well, new love like him. Well, <laughs> I mean, you know, life is long, eh? Life is long. Yeah, you bag yours, get out of the forest, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, I ain't doing that. So you were, uh, <clears throat> were you like a, a deputy prime minister there with uh, with Greg Jan kind of thing? Was that was that? I was. was. Wow, what yeah. was that like? I mean, what was that like working with that fella? That was fun, actually. He always talked out of the corner of his mouth, and he told a few good jokes. <laughs> he did? Oh, did you say that to him? Yeah, of course I did. Did he have a sense of humor He's, about he that? He had a great sense of humor. He said he kept me on the left because that was his deaf ear. <laughs> <laughs> he did say that. I knew that guy was a joker. I knew he was a joker. And what about, hey, this little Paul Martin character, all right? Is he, uh, is, is he all right, or what's what's going on with him? I mean, he's... Uh, you gave him uh, a run for his money for the leadership, right? Has he got a personal problem with you? <laughs> huh? Um, I think he's... Um, Misogynistic or something. No, no, no. I think he's just wanting to kind of peel off the Liberal Party. So maybe you could call him a peeler. Peeler. <laughs> <laughs> Manuel Sandu, like he's some kind of traitor to the it's country. Like Johnson. Oh. Johnson. Rosie DeMano. Hello again, loser. Why? That's not encouraging for our athletes. The gutless Emmanuel Sandu replaced by someone else. And okay, oh it's my. unfortunate, guys, but just let it go. It's figure skating, for God's sake. It's not even really a sport. He's he is a brilliant Elizabeth skater. Manley? Come on. Taller, Taller Cranston said he was the, the he had so much potential, and he just has to get past some of the mental stumbling. What? <laughs> what are you doing? Pete, I didn't know that you were a figure skater. That's that's wonderful. That's... Oh. I do not look like this guy. Oh, you okay. Can believe... Oh, you look nice and red too. Oh, your hair slicked back. Okay. Oh, See what happened? You're twins. No, no, come on. Separated it's at just birth. Too bad. You started in first place, tied with Lashenko, and you fit. Oh, you you guys loser. Shut up. Would you guys shut up? Okay, I do not look like him. Okay. Okay, he gives he gives half Indian, half white people a bad name in this country because everyone picks on the guy all the Why time. Why do we okay? never see you and him in the same place? 
Help yourself. Oh, thank you. How generous. Yeah. Hey, Sheila. Um, now, you've been through a lot of stuff recently, stuff that would would have, you know, put a lot of people off by now. Would, would have knocked a lot of people out of commission, but you're still there. And is there an appeal happening or what? What is going on? There is an appeal. We're going before the Liberal Board of Appeal on Saturday. Um, and we're going to put our case. Because this guy who won must be feeling like a right hoo-ha. You know what I'm saying? Belieri, Belieri. And if you want, you know, if you want me to put a bit of the strong arm on him, <laughs> knock him out, give him the hammer fist, I would do that for you, Sheila. I would. I you just know? want the truth. Yeah. I know that sounds corny, but I'm not really worried about beating up on anybody. I just want the truth. Oh, you better get it. You deserve it. Yeah. Well, you, thank people, you. you know, you deserve it more than anybody. That's so, all I'm uh, Trudeau had his walk in the snow before he decided he was going to quit politics. Do you think, you know, your ride on the GO train is going to be the same thing? Oh, gosh. It what? could be. <laughs> it could be my time to take a ride on the train. <laughs> and funny things happen on trains, you never know. Well, you're working on the book, though. That's good. That's going to get you some coins. Well, I'm going to tell my story for sure. Don't yeah. stop, Sheila. Don't stop, please. Yeah. Please don't stop. I'm not. I guess you spit one of these. <laughs> okay. I'm going to keep on moving, working, and spitting all my life. There you go. Okay. Here's the attitude. <laughs> oh, sorry. I oh, missed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I blast over there, I open the door, and I, I, I took a look at her, and I mean, her clothing's ripped, and she's bleeding, and she's, I don't even know what she was on. Like, I've never seen her like this. She was freaking out, right? Right. And I asked her what happened, and nobody could tell me, so I said, well, we're off to the hospital. Right. You okay. know, and I've got a couple hours before the meeting, so, so I... So you think you have time? I think I have time. I, I, I take her to the hospital, right, and she won't go in she starts breaking down right on the front door. So I'm like dragging her into the hospital. She won't go in. She's yelling and screaming, right? Why is it you though? I mean, where was the roommate? Why Why well, did she, she just dump her on you? Well, no, she was asking for me because we're in Narcotics Anonymous together. We're in the same program. And she tells me that, uh, that she was raped, okay? And I mean, you know, everything, everything just went out the window. I, I got angry and I was, I started freaking out. Uh, and you just forgot about the meeting? Or? I, I forgot. I missed the first train and then uh, I took a cab and I, I missed the second train. I phoned my lawyer and I said, mm -hmm. listen, uh, somehow delay it, postpone it, do whatever you can. And he said, no way, pal. And he started freaking out on me. <laughs> Shame, 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 <laughs> shame on you if you can't come through. Come on, they're going to be dancing for an hour, take a break every 15 minutes. What? For That's called the dance a thon? Well, yeah. you ever seen they don't shoot horses, do they? Yes, I do. That's a dance a thon. Liz I know. Hey, the well, dance a thon police? It's apparently. In my day, it was disco thon. We'd go 12 hours, but kids are different. 12 now. hours without a break. That's right? right. You wouldn't eat? No, you, you just go to the bathroom. You just do it you as you go. go. That's yeah, right. You see, that's in 1985. I walked 22 and a half miles for $6.35 that I raised Come for my on. school. That's <laughs> work. I was the highest earner in my class, too. Six bucks, eh? Right on. It was 1985, Look, okay? You weren't even born then. Come on, be it over. over. You're a big tycoon. Come on, Zach. I, you know I have to that, buy allergies. Oh, there you go. I'm Thank you. you. I should I give that to the government because it's a waste of money. Oh, and on top, you know what? Let me pay for him. I'll pay for him. Thank you just you. have to promise me that you'll get all that crap out of your backyard to stop making my neighborhood look like a slum. Okay. Thank you very much. We have a deal. Might take me a while, though. So, is that Emmanuel Sandu? <laughs> <laughs> Now, Sheila, if, if the appeal doesn't go your way, you know, for whatever reason, and, uh, and you need a place to, to sort of crash land a little bit and, and think about your next move and, you know, let things settle down a bit, there's a place I go to just north of Barrie. It's a little secret place I never told no one about before, and it's, uh, it's by a, a little brook, and it's quiet, and there's trees all around, and the sun beams down, and the birds are there, and it's <coughs> peaceful, and the wind blows through the grass, and it's just a little piece of heaven. And it always helps me to to think and to, to plan my, my life and uh, you know maybe I could show it to you sometime or tell you where it is and you could go there and you know be with your thoughts or whatever. Oh thank you that's very sweet yeah. I, I really appreciate it. Well, it's been a pleasure meeting you.
it's been a pleasure meeting you. You know what? You don't oftentimes go through what I've gone through and get somebody as nice as you to talk about it with. Well, anyway, there it is. Oh. Oh. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> you get a real way with the ladies, huh? Now, you shouldn't laugh. You know, he's giving you a few good tips. See that? Yeah. They like him sweet. <laughs> Hey, the judge made the right decision, okay? I mean, the facts are the facts. Really? Yeah. Is that what you would be saying if you did make it and he still said no, you can't see him again? Yeah, but I didn't make it, I okay? I know, I know. Okay, and this is typical. This is typical. This is what I've been doing my whole life, okay? I say one thing and I do the other. The results don't match up. Yeah, but what were you doing? What do you mean, what was I doing? Where were you? You were helping yeah. someone. You were trying to help someone. They don't needed care. You. They don't care. Yeah, but they should because you know what? That's all a parent is. All a parent is is someone who shows up, someone who tries to help when when someone's in need, yeah. when their kid's in need. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's I, what a parent is. That's what a parent is. A parent shows up, which I didn't, and as a result, I'm never going to see that kid again. Ever. Ever. You know what? I wish I never knew that I had a son in the first place.